Hello friends, it's good to be back again for another story from the Bible, God's True Word, the book that came to us from God and that tells us all about God. Now we've been learning a lot of stories from the Bible that remind us that God is in charge of everything. And today we have a story from the Bible about a man who there's actually a whole book in the Bible about his life, and his name is Daniel, and the book of the Bible is named Daniel. Well, I don't have time to tell you all the stories from the book of Daniel, but I do have time to tell you one of the most exciting and scary ones. Well, Daniel was a person who loved and trusted God with his whole heart. Daniel was one of those Israelites who had been carried away by the enemy into captivity. And Daniel was very smart and very good with leading. And so Daniel was actually very good friends with the king of the country where he was a captive. He was one of the king's advisors. He was someone that the king trusted to give him advice when he needed advice. In fact, the Bible tells us that Daniel was one of King Darius' favorite advisors. Well, there were some other advisors who didn't like that Daniel was King Darius' favorite. And so they started plotting and planning what could they do that might get Daniel in trouble? Well, one thing that they did know about Daniel, Daniel was a man who loved and trusted God with his whole heart. And Daniel took time every day to pray and to seek God every day without fail. And he didn't try and do it in hiding. He didn't keep it a secret that he was praying to God. He prayed to God every day. Well, these friends, not really friends, but these other advisors of the king knew that Daniel would do that. So they came up with a very tricky plan. Their plan was to get the king to make a new rule that said that for one month, people who lived in that kingdom could only pray to the king. Now, prayer was thought about as being asking for something or seeking something from someone. Well, that is what we do when we are praying. We worship God when we pray. We praise God when we pray. But we also oftentimes are asking God for either something or advice about something. So these men knew that they could make the king feel really good about himself if they got him to make a law that said for one whole month, nobody can ask any other God or any other important person for anything. They can only ask you. They can only pray to you, King Darius. Well, Daniel wasn't around when they told the king this, and the king thought, hey, yeah, I mean, I want to take care of my kingdom. So, sure, for a month. So, the king signed a new law. And the law said that for one whole month, people in the kingdom could only pray to King Darius. And if they prayed to any other god, they would be thrown into the lion's den. Well, that wasn't very good for Daniel, who liked and always prayed to God 
every single day. So Daniel had a hard choice to make when he learned about this law because Daniel had to choose. Hmm, am I going to stop praying to God for a month so that I don't have to get thrown into the lions? Or am I going to love and trust God that he's in charge of everything and that he wants to talk to me through prayer every day so I'm going to go ahead and pray to God. Daniel had a choice to make. What do you think Daniel did? If you said Daniel kept on praying, you're right. Because Daniel did. And Daniel didn't try and hide his praying. He didn't say, well, let's see, I know that's the law. So if I pray in my closet and nobody sees me, then it won't be a big deal. No. Daniel was not ashamed of the fact that he loved and trusted God and that he believed that God was in charge of everything and that God wanted to talk to him through prayer. So just like always, Daniel prayed. Well, those guys who did not like Daniel immediately went running back to the king to tattletale and to say, King Darius, King Darius, guess what? We found somebody who's praying to someone but you. They are going to have to be thrown into the lion's den. And King Darius said, well, yes, they will. They broke the law. And then he said, who is it? And they said, it's Daniel. Oh, King Darius' heart was so broken. He was so sad. Because even though King Darius was the king, and he was in charge of a lot of things, King Darius was not in charge of everything. And the rules in King Darius's kingdom said, once the king signs a law, it can never be changed. So King Darius was stuck. He had no choice but to follow through and to have Daniel thrown into the den of lions. He didn't want to do it, but he didn't have a choice. So King Darius went with Daniel as they headed to the lion's den, and he told Daniel he didn't want to do it, but he didn't have a choice. And Daniel said, God's in charge of everything, King Darius. It'll be okay. Well, now those lions in that lion's den, they had not been given any food for lots and lots of days. They were hungry, hungry lions. And as they got close to the lion's den, those lions could smell that there was food coming their way. They could smell that something was coming that they could pounce on and eat. And so they began to roar. Hmm. Can you roar like a lion? Yes, that's what those lions were doing. They were roaring. And so they took the grate off the top of the lion's den, and they took Daniel and they threw Daniel in, expecting that those very hungry lions were going to find Daniel down there in that pit with them, and they were going to eat him. King Darius was back at his castle, and he was so sad he could not sleep all night long, he worried about Daniel. And he wondered, Daniel said it was going to be okay, that his God was powerful and his God was in charge of everything. But, oh, I just don't know. And Daniel was my friend and I liked Daniel. And he worried all night long. So when the sun came up, very first thing, King Darius went running to the den. And he told them, open the grate up. And he hollered down in, Daniel, Daniel, did your God save you? And Daniel said, yes, King Darius, he did. Because during the night while King Darius was worrying, Daniel 
was doing what Daniel always liked to do. Daniel was praying. And those hungry, hungry lions didn't try to eat them. The Bible tells us in the book of Daniel that God closed the mouths of the lions and did not allow them to attack and eat Daniel. God's in charge of everything. God's in charge even when kings make rules and laws that are not good ones. God's in charge of animals, even very hungry animals. God's in charge of everything. Well, King Darius had Daniel brought up out of the lion's den, and this is what he said. May peace be yours, I decree, that means I make a new law, that people everywhere who are in my kingdom ought to tremble before and fear the God of Daniel. For he is the living God, and his he will endure forever. His kingdom will never be overthrown. His reign will know no end. He saves and rescues those who fear him, for he has rescued his servant Daniel from the power of the lions. King Darius knew that God was in charge of everything and that it was God who had saved Daniel from the mouth of the lions. Daniel knew that God was in charge of everything. Daniel knew that obeying God was best always. Daniel did obey God because he loved God. We can trust that God is in charge of everything too. And it's always better to obey God and to put our trust in him because God's in charge of everything. Let's tell God thank you for being in charge of everything and for showing us that even hungry lions. Listen to him. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this story about Daniel. Thank you for showing us that you're in charge of everything. Thank you for letting us see a story where even leaders who did not know you and love you and trust you saw and told others that you are the one true and living God. Your reign will never be overthrown and you will never, ever be at the end of your being in charge of everything. You are in charge of everything forever. Thank you for saving Daniel. Thank you for showing us that when we choose to obey you because we love you, that you are in charge and you will take care of us. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, it's been good to be with you again this week sharing another story from God's Word. I hope that I see some of you soon at church, but until then, we'll keep gathering for Bible stories this way. Have a great week.